Hello and welcome to another episode of DoCrafts TV. Today we're joined by the lovely Karen Baker who's going to show us a really creative way to use some memory pockets. Hi Karen, welcome along today. Hi. Thank you for coming. Um, now, I know you're going to show us a project today using one of those items that's sometimes a little bit tricky to come up with ideas for, aren't yes. we? Yes. And it's, our, it's the memory pockets, that there's lots of different ones in all sorts of collections that yeah. we've all sort of picked up over the years. Um, and we actually have shown you some ideas in issue 45 of Do Crafts Creativity magazine, which is the issue here with the flowers on the front. And um, Trish showed us three exciting ways of, of using memory pockets. And I know you've used one, I think, from the Madame Payro collection, That's right. haven't you? Yeah. Uh, but there's lots of other ones that you can, you can pick up. I think one of my favourites is the Home to Nest collection. Yeah. It's got these little cute little seed packets. That's really cute. Um, gorgeous, of course, which everybody Beautiful. loves. And all aboard as well. But there's lots of other ones um, that you, I'm sure you may have in your stash at home as well. Yeah. So what are we going to do? Well, we're just going to do a card with a gift. Um, Wonderful. So the idea that you're making a feature of the memory pocket, um, but you've got a bit of um, a open and shut, so you can actually see what's in. Um, and then I'm just putting whatever the gift is inside Fantastic. the little memory pocket. Brilliant. Right, what's the first job? Okay, so I'm using some of the five by seven card blanks. Okay. And I've actually trimmed it down slightly. I've just taken about a centimeter off the bottom. Okay. Um, and because we're gonna put something a little bit bulky inside, um, if I was to put it inside the card as it is at the moment, it just wouldn't sit very well. Okay, um, so sure. I'm actually just going to put a little spine. Ah, um, nice. So I just flatten this first with my bone folder. And then you're just going to measure about a centimetre, just under a centimetre. And I'm just going to put a little score line. And you're just using the guides here, aren't you, on the mat? Yeah, the that, mats rather than are measuring it. so useful. So just score it. It's really good quality card here. So just make sure that you do a couple of scores. Wonderful. And then I'm just going to gently push that and then line it up and give it a good crease again. So Fantastic. we end up with um, the spine like that. Lovely. Okay, obviously we've now got an extra bit. So all I would do now is just trim the extra bit off. So just again, line my card up nice and straight. Try and make sure this spine here is straight mm -hmm. here and then just get my, move that out of the way, and then get my craft knife. Okay? Lovely. So we're left with a smaller card. Now, to do the decoration, I'm using this really lovely embossing folder, oh, the quilting one, one. I love that one. And I'm using this uh, paper range. Oh, yes. And it comes in a myriad of colours. And the great thing about it is because it's white on the back, when we emboss it, what we'll actually see is the white coming through. Oh, so it adds perfect. an extra element to the card. It's a great, actually, this is uh, actually, it's a good idea to show you probably this. Um, this is the paper pack you've used, isn't it? Yes. The A4 paper yeah. pack here. And like you say, I mean, you can see how many colours that you're going to receive there. That's yeah. It's pretty exciting, isn't it? It's what's something to go with every single project you're working with there. So I've put my paper in already and I've put the side up. If you, if you want the front, you always use the bit that's actually printed on. Okay. So I want the blue that way. So I'm going to pop that in. There oh, we lovely. go. Lovely. Yeah, you, you can, can see, really see the, the white, white comes through. Isn't yeah, it? it's, it's really lovely. And it, it saves having to do anything extra to it. It's just yeah. an instant bit of contrast. I guess contrast. that's because it's a sort of a lighter paper rather yes. than using a cardstock. So you haven't got to sand it off or anything. No, absolutely. Um, so I'm just going to stick this on to the centre of the card. Very nice. And then we're going to cut the aperture out. Um, if you've got um, one of the rectangle sets of dies, you could do this oh, um, yeah, with the die idea. set as well. Um, I'll just try and make sure I line it up. Okay, so just try and put, place it centrally. Fantastic. Okay, and now we're just going to cut the aperture in. I'm just doing it quickly with a craft knife, but you could use a die set and you could use a different shape as well. You don't have oh, to stick to, course, yeah. um, you know, a nice round one or even some of the sort of scalloped edge ones oh, look really, nice. really pretty really as well. Good. So I've just cut myself um, a shape to make sure that I'm cutting the right size and I'm just going to draw around. I'm going to just draw lightly with a pencil, okay. um, but you can rub the marks out afterwards if you've got any showing. Okay, so I've got my lines here now. So I'm just going to cut around all the edges. There we go. So we've got Lovely. the main part. Just 
get rid of the bits. So we've got the main parts of our cards in front of it sorted. That looks great. So now we're going to use the memory pockets. So I've got a sheet of cardstock and mm -hmm. I'm going to use that as a backing, partly because obviously I'm going to be having a bit to see through so when the pocket goes if there's anything I'm um, showing then I've just got another colour coming nice through. Got you. Right so I'll pop that in again try and get it fairly centrally and you can use nice contrasting colours you could use pattern papers whatever you Definitely. like. And then we've got our pocket now what I'm going to do I've actually got a little tea bag in my oh, here. Oh, very nice. And so I thought I would try and use part of the tea bag as a decorative element. So oh, you've got this clever. little bit here that you always sort of hang over the sides. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put a little um, punched heart. So we're going to remove that because that doesn't look particularly, particularly nice. Okay. Great idea. And then using some more of that paper, I'll just punch two of the hearts, and then Perfect. we're just going to sandwich. I'll cut this down a little bit so that the thread. There we go. So I'm just going to put some ad adhesive on one side and then get the string, stick it to the middle and then do the same with the other one. That's and just brilliant. Sandwich That's them a together. great idea. That's so simple, isn't it, as well? Yeah. It just adds um, a little bit of extra and you're introducing another colour in as well to the card, so it's, it's a bit more interesting. Oh, it's very okay. cute. Now the other thing we need to do is in order for someone to understand that there's something in the pocket, I wanted to have this sticking out. So I've got mm -hmm. one of my circle punches and I'm just going to punch through um, a semicircle. Oh, so you're just lining up in the window there, aren't you? Yeah, so I tend to use my punches upside down because you can see exactly what's going in there. And I'm just using the sides of the punches to make sure that I've got an equal amount of memory uh, yeah, pocket either good. side. Okay, give it. There we go. So all I need to do now is pop my little tea bag in. I mean, if you, somebody wasn't sure what the tea bag was, you could always stick the oh, little okay. label yep. in there so that they knew what type of tea it was. And then that's why I did the, po the little circle is oh, pop. Oh, that's nice. There we go. And to keep it in place, I'll just add a little bit more adhesive, just a tiny amount. So we've got that into the middle. So to nice. secure it, so. hang on. Um, I had a play when I was trying to secure it, and because it's quite bulky, yeah. if you try and secure the whole sides, it sort of pulls the pocket out of shape okay. and makes it harder to get the middle, which is why I'm using the craft tape, because all I'm going to do, A, adds another bit of um, decorative element to sure. the car, but also I can just take it down the bottom. Yes. So I'll add a little bit of adhesive along the bottom half. And because it is a little bit bulky, the craft tape's perfect because it just means it keeps it stuck there for me. And looks fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. It's adding a little bit something extra. And because you've got an element sticking up, it means that you've got a bit of um, yeah. flexibility. So you can still secure it down. That's brilliant. So now we just need to add the sentiment to lovely. the front. It's really lovely. So I'm using some of the um, parchment vellum paper, yes. which is really lovely for embossing on. So I'm going to stamp and heat emboss. And this is um, some of the Bellissimo. Fantastic. And what I've got is the, um, the sentiment here. But I'm a little bit naughty when it comes to stamps. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes um, and I prefer to use the sentiments in a slightly different way. Yeah. And because I don't know you can see that, I've actually just trimmed it. So just look at, you know, <laughs> look at your stamps and don't feel that you have to use them exactly how they no, are. No, definitely. So I'll put that one there, otherwise I will lose it. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just put the stamp on. And I'm just using some white pigment ink. Lovely. Like you say, the combination of the grid on the, the block and on the, yeah. the mat really makes it almost It takes all the hard stuff perfectly. out of it, absolutely. Now, you're not going to see much there because it's white on white, <laughs> but uh, I promise you it's there. Right. Let me just put the embossing powder on. I really like that seafoam white powder. I think that might be my favourite. It is beautiful and it just looks really elegant on the um, parchment vellum yeah. as well. So I'm going to line it up trying to make sure that I have got it centrally. And okay. then I'm just going to fold it over and then try and make sure it's um, in the middle of both sides. That looks fab. Okay, and then I'm just going to fold it back on itself, but slightly further away, about a centimetre past with the other fold. Oh, I see. So it just creates a banner shape very, That's very lovely. simply. 
and then just cut a little V shape in the end. Very sweet. Right, so we're just finishing. So we've got our little banner. Now to stick this down, I'm actually using the um, permanent adhesive, okay. the red roller, because I found completely by accident that it's amazing for sticking down really? and the vellum parchment and you can hardly see the glue Because it can be really tricky, can't it, to get yeah. these sort of sheer materials to stick on without it looking a bit of a mess, can't there's, you? But... It, there's always some showing through, particularly yeah. using this, because these dots have got a slight blue tone to them, yes. so it does show through, whereas yeah. this is practically invisible. Um, and it's really sticky, so you don't actually need to use a lot. So just put a little bit on the edges. And then we're just going to pop that in the middle. And there we go. And then just secure those down. Just press that down. Make sure that's stuck. And then you've got a nice simple way Brilliant. of adding a little prezi to a card. That's fantastic. And you're right, that, that's almost invisible yeah. there, isn't it? That's really good. You have to really look close. Yeah, you'd have it. to you'd have to know it was glued there yeah, to find absolutely. it, definitely. Yeah. Wonderful. So there's our finished project with our little tea bag in the pocket there. Fantastic. Now, as you said, you've done another version for us as well, haven't you? Yes. Which is using um, the All Aboard collection. Yeah, which I love. That's so nice. I particularly like the um, like airmail. Uh, I love um, the airmail pattern craft tape. Effect. That's really good. And, and it's got, got a little chocolate inside. Oh, has it? Yeah. <sighs> I had to have Milky Bar because it matched the oh, airmail stripe. it does. Stripe. It matches. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in and showing us that project. That I really love projects that are a gift and card in one because I yeah. think people really appreciate them. Plus a little bit of chocolate can't hurt, can no, it? Absolutely. <laughs> if you've enjoyed Karen's project, do check out docrafts.com for a full list of everything she's used and instructions and close-up photographs of her project as well so you can follow along and make your own. We'd really love to see what you've been making too. So upload your project to your members gallery at docrafts.com and drop us a link to tv at docrafts.com and we can pop along and take a look, maybe leave you a comment and we can even feature your project on an upcoming episode of Do Crafts TV. Until next time, happy crafting. <laughs> <laughs>